Okay, now we're um, uh, now we're just inside the Palace of Winds and we're trying to make an escape and we're trying to escape the pa Palace of Winds as fast as we can. As I just see the Tower of Winds is collapsing as well. What? What's going on? Why is the Tower of Winds beginning to collapse? Link, we have to get out quickly. I really like, and I have to admit, I find the theme really awesome. The, this theme right here when we're trying to escape the tower wins. That's a really cool theme. I know right away that the exit to the tower, to the palace of winds is actually different. Like, I still remember when I went through the Tower of Winds, and, and the entrance in my was actually, uh... You'll see the entrance in my and the exit in my were different. There's still monsters about. If Batty did not call them, then who did? There's no road ahead and no way to proceed. I can see something over there, but if only we could get there somehow. Yeah, now I'm just trying to clear the path for Zelda. Yeah, make sure that you don't let Princess Zelda get herself killed. Just like, uh, just like in, uh, part, just like back when we were doing, uh, level four, when we had to go back to Hyrule Field. At the beginning of the first level in level four, we had to get Malin back to the ranch, and if she ended up getting killed, then the four links ended up, would end up getting killed as well. We can't get anywhere like this. There's no road ahead and no way to proceed. Oh. Most likely again another another dead end. Man, why do I why do we need to collect more force gems here? Why more? Seriously, we already am a, we already got enough to pass a earlier when we had to battle Vaddy and now we need more I just don't get it oh wait I see what we have to do now we have to go in here Most likely, though, we have to activate the switch right over there in that vase, but jumping over there is just out of the question because there's something blocking there. Oh, there we go. Oh, but I didn't even open up the password for, for Zelda, too. Oh, crap. Go back. Out, out, out.
All right, there we go. What is this sense of dread that fills the air? While we linger here, the tower is crumbling about us. We must hurry. Doesn't it sort of make you think like, um, uh, doesn't it make you feel like you're playing Zelda or Karina at time? It kind of does. Although you're going to be surprised. Although the ending's gonna be a little different, though, because at the end, at the end of the game, though, I'm a once Link, I'm a finally, I'm a escapes him again. Its tower, the whole tower collapses, and again, it finally comes back, and Ganondorf gets revived, and then somehow comes back as Ganon. Yeah, you see the exit? You see how it's just a bright light coming out, meaning that the exit is right there? It was a little different if you actually see the Tower of Winds walk through. Like, I know the entrance was different when when I entered the Tower of Winds back, my, back when I was doing my walkthrough in Tower of Winds. The exit's nearby. H hurry! Oh, no. This is not good. This is it. The final battle. Yeah, I know. The battle between Batty isn't enough. What? That's that raw patch of darkness deeper than the blackest night. Is, is that Batty? No. It's not the Wind Sorcerer. No matter. I must have used my power to seal it away. Can't breathe. My strength is failing me. The very air around me is growing thin. Dying. I only need a bit more power. More! Ida, the princess of Hyrule and her powers amounts to nothing. Zelda, I get it now. Seal you away. Forever! Yes, it's Ganon. This is like the only Zelda game with Vaddy that we also see Ganon I'm gonna make an appearance. Like in Four Swords Adventure, Vaddy I'm a Vaddy I'm a is the main villain and, and he also is a villain in Min in Minish Cap. But strangely enough though, I'm a Ganon actually makes an appearance at the end of the game here in Four Swords Adventure. Anyway. Ga ah ah weak lights a computer Incompetent fools! You so-called heroes do not stand even a Ganon's chance of her of harming me. Even if you were to attack on a group, I will skewer the lot of you with my mighty trident. Be well aware if if the video ends up getting split down to two parts, I'll end up on. Um, I'll end up making this Escape of the Winds, and, uh, and I'll make this be called Escaping Escaping Tower of Winds slash Final Battle Part 1, and then after that, I'm, uh, the second part will just be Final Battle Part 2. Yeah, strangely enough, though, this is all we have to do. We just have to keep fighting Ganon, and, and if we end up, um, uh, and if he ends up um, uh, using those lightning strikes on us, we just get sent to the dark world where we just have a bunch of bunch of swarming enemies. Sometimes nothing will happen either. Like you'll go into the dark world portal and nothing will happen and after and then after a few seconds you get sent back out again. It's okay though, all you gotta do is just keep battling uh, the skeleton creatures. 
And then after you kill all of them, there'll be like a big one you have to fight. And then after you kill that one, you can find you finally get sent back. It's kind of like uh, it's uh, kind of like uh, when we had to uh, when we were getting the royal jewels. There was like there was like a big of a skeletal creature, and then we had to fight all the little ones first, and then take care of the big one after that. It's the same thing, almost like it. Just instead that the big one won't appear until we kill all the little ones now, which is a little different now. A different situation now, though. All right. All right, Ganon, you had your fun. Time for me to kick your ass. Well, that's pathetic. I was like right behind him attacking his cape, and he couldn't even try getting a lightning bolt back there. Now that's what I call pathetic. Yeah, the good and the really exciting thing is, is after we kill Ganon, this is the end of the this will be the end of the game. Yeah, what a great way how to end off a game, but with a big freaking epic fight. That's what I like it. That's that's what makes it be Legend of Zelda to me, having a big fight at the end of the game. Like it's just say it just shows us that we got this far and. And no need giving up now. And then once you follow him and defeat, once you defeat the boss, you're all like, you follow him, uh, you follow see some ultimate quest, you follow see something amazing happen, and then after that, that's the end of the game. And that's and that's what it's like for Legend of Zelda as well. Like, like even the end of Link to the Past, like after you defeat Ganon at the end of Link to the Past. Link gets his hands on the Triforce. That is freaking awesome. We never see that happen in another Legend of Zelda game. Like, so far after Ocarina of Time, Link only has the Triforce of Courage, but we never see him get all three elements at once in A Link to the Past. At least not until the end of the game, though. Okay, this is where he does something a little different now. He just throws the trident around and then he'll do some sort of vanishing trick. Yeah, you can tell now when he's about to go throw this uh, trident because you'll see the screen go white for like a fraction of a second. Like right there. Yeah, it'll just make a quick flash of white light for like a fraction of a second. Then the next thing you see here, he'll start throwing the trident around and do his vanishing trick. Oh, 
Ah, damn it! Oh, you bastard! Well, as long as I have force rays, I'm okay still. We're okay, we're okay, don't worry. You know what? I think I might be able to skim this whole fight down to one video. I think if I could just kill him. There's, there is one more part right after this, though. Alright, here we go. This is it. Yeah, strangely enough, the um, uh, Princess Zola gets involved in this final part. Ganon, this beast was once of the Gerudo, once human, he was called Ganondorf, King of Darkness, ancient demon reborn, the wielder of the Trident. Yet now, while Ganon's power is won, I will pour all my remaining strength into this ball of light. When it's suffused of it with power, I will release it and release it and strike. At that time, use this. Now I just have to shoot him with the light. Now I just have to shoot him with the bow. All I gotta do is just protect Princess Zelda from so then after she can end up I'm gonna use her orb of light. And hopefully just uh, reflect his attack back at him. It's a little bit like uh, like when we were going against Agnum back in Zelda Link to the Past. You know when you're, you know when we had to fight him and then we had to re rebound his attacks back at him because we can't attack him. Ah, I missed. Well, at least it didn't hit Zelda. That's a good thing. Come on. Booyah! Ganon is old. Now I'm uh, now all the now the fairies will come out and hopefully this next part I'll have to do in a separate video, I'm afraid. Yeah, we'll see the beginning of, of, of my, how this is all happening. Oh, come on, let there be some freaking dialogue already. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, anyway, though, this will be the next part. So, until the next part, I'm going to see ya. Right, and don't forget to see the next part as well, because this, this will finally be the ending. This is where, uh, where we'll finally see the game credits and all that stuff. So, it'll be pretty awesome. Anyway, until then, see ya.